Okay, hello, welcome back to Osaka Makerspace. This is John. I'm continuing. <coughs> excuse me. I'm continuing work on the, uh, the electronic cat toy that I'm building. I went ahead and just uh, quickly drew some some lines with a straight edge, just to uh, find me some center points on blocks, as well as just a yeah. It's not completely straight, but it's close enough. It's just a uh, kind of outline of where it goes, uh, this block goes onto the, the base. And <clears throat> so I was thinking, I have this motor, right? Last time I measured it, I measured it, uh, let's see if I can get a little bit closer here. I measured it um, around this sleeve that is on the outside of it. And we really don't need that sleeve on the outside of it. And since I have a drill bit that's 30 millimeters, and without the sleeve, this is 30.3 millimeters. So that's gonna need very very little adjustment can you see that uh, there it is 30.5 right there 30.3 so maybe even just a friction fit since it's wood and wood's slightly compressible but might need to sand it a little bit so I want to get this sleeve off of here so let's uh, let's get this sleeve off first I think and then maybe drill some holes and do some routing and let's get this thing done Artie will be here sometime tonight and I would like to test this thing out on a live cat. Um, I've had a couple of ideas of some things to be careful about. Uh, for example, it's possible that um, when this thing has got a you know, bar sticking out and some, some rope coming down or whatever type of toy you might be using, if it's too long and this is spinning around, right, it could get wrapped around this thing and that would be a problem. So certainly, however long the pole is, it, the, the string should not be longer than basically um, bringing the toy just near the base, right? You can drag it around, no problem, as long as it can't quite get all the way back to this base. So that'll be something to keep in mind. Um, what other thoughts did I have? I'm also, you know, maybe I've mentioned this before, I don't want the thing to also get wrapped around the cat's neck. Uh, so maybe some larger toys that, um, not the string with the mouse on the end, but like the little feathery thick uh, thing might be a better choice as well, just to kind of make sure that your cat doesn't get injured. So let's, uh, since I've already got my camera set up here, I'm going to move my uh, device. There we go. No, no need to move the camera all the way over there when I can get the work done right here. However, I might move it just so we can get a little bit better of an angle here. How's that looking? Yeah, that seems okay. Sorry about the lighting. It's not super great in here, but it's not terrible in my opinion. So, yes, if we can just uh, clamp on the bottom of this. Not too tight because I don't want to damage the motor itself. It's probably okay. And uh, let's find something that I can use to kind of pry under it. All right. Hmm. Okay, I might want a hammer. And I'm thinking probably a screwdriver. might be okay although the end of it is a little bit thick can you see that alright it's a little bit thick but uh, we might be able to get that under there but uh, I like these little stubby screwdrivers for when you're trying to hammer on stuff because you just they always have like a really nice thick base on them, handle on them and it's typically pretty easy to get things done oh great this is already starting to uh, come off there now I don't want to do too much damage to it. Oh look, that came off so easily. That's perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, let's loosen that up. Yeah, a couple little, uh, this side you can't see anything. Here maybe a little small. Ah, it's more like an abrasion even than a divot. So that worked out quite well. Motor still spins very freely. Excellent, no problem. 
So I've also th been thinking about how I want to secure these things into the wood. Um, at least for the top part, I might just use hot glue so that if there is some problem and it really gets you know, wound around something, then that hot glue would allow it to just kind of break free and spin, hopefully, freely, maybe even just pop off the top there. Uh, so that would be a good safety measure. For sticking it into the wood itself, maybe just a nice tight friction fit might be best because I would like to also be able to maybe get it out so that I can adjust some wires or electronics or something if I need to do something like that. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. There are a couple little screw mount holes here that might be something that we can use. Maybe some type of a little uh, um, a piece of metal that has like a little sharp point or something that we can kind of drive into the wood and secure it to the motor and that would prevent it from, from spinning in the, the, the main column. So something like that would be great. So okay, now we got that free. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and drill some holes into our wood. And we'll go ahead and just use our vise here again. Primarily use this vise for metalworking. It's uh, it doesn't have any like wood. Uh, what do you, what do you call them? Blocks that would prevent the wood from being damaged. But it's okay. We're not really trying to uh, make this look like it's a beautiful product. It's it's going to be a cat toy, and it's going to get probably chewed on, probably scratched up. So it's not a big deal for me. All right, and. Uh, Go ahead and use the impact driver, I believe. Yeah, because it's got the correct uh, chuck on there. This is our 30 millimeter uh, drill bit that we're going to use. I forget the exact name of this style of drill bit. I'm sure if I asked Ryan, he could tell me. These are these are quite good. I like them. Um, the, the one point that I'm not particularly fond of, although it's I guess probably often not a problem, is that the uh, the tip of this thing tends to stick out right and so when you're drilling a hole it's not going to be a completely flush flat bottom you're always going to have a little bit of a, a small circle in the middle that kind of goes a little bit deeper but if that's not a problem for you then they're they're really good they cut well they cut cleanly and uh, the chips really just fly out of there really easily there we go and ah I do want to go ahead use a center punch just to kind of get my hole going here never lines up well if, if you don't do it and it rarely does let's make sure that my videos yeah we're good all right everything looks pretty good and bonk well that was not perfect it's slightly north of there but that's fine too all right try to keep it as level as possible, and here, wait, you know what I'm doing, I'm doing the wrong thing. I was about to drill a, uh, a nice deep hole into the top part. Woo. You guys watching are probably like, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, I caught it. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Maybe I'll get a better tap this time. I like that. Personally, I think that looks better. All right, let's try it again. Now we want to go. I wouldn't mind if the top of this motor sticks out just a little bit, so that I'd have something to grab a hold of. But I could always just grab the top. So if we get it all the way down in, I think that's probably also okay. And so if the uh, we're basically we're looking to kind of bottom this thing out, I think, really, because um, we're going to need some space for some wires and the rest of the. Uh, the shaft to kind of fit through there and so we're really kind of looking to uh, bottom out our our bit here so doing this by hand and not getting off is going to be a little bit tricky so here goes nothing I'm going to do my best let me just yeah it looks pretty good it's it's real close Woo. lucky lucky all right, come on. All right, now that I'm getting it going with the, uh, with the impact driver, I'm thinking we're going to need a proper drill for this. So let's go ahead and change it out. Otherwise, we're just going to kill that battery and, and not get much done. Ooh. All right, 
Hope you didn't see that. That was embarrassing. Here we go. And we're still going to be looking to bottom this thing out pretty much. So I'll leave uh, just a little bit hanging out there. And, oh, of course, you can't really quite see what's going on when I'm uh, drilling it in. There we go. That's better. Well, I suppose it's all right that uh, I decided to switch drills, eh? There we go. That's the sound of power right there. All right. Do me well. Don't, don't give me more than 30. First of all, I have it on impact. I don't need it on impact. That was killing my ears, so I'm gonna grab some ear protectors real quick. And some eye protection since I'm at it. Should always try to remember to do that. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's going fairly straight. Let's try again correct settings here. There we go. I want to make sure that I'm not tilting one way or the other too much, so uh, I'll stop every now and then and just kind of check it. Good. Yeah, it's looking all right. Still going okay. I don't think we're too close to any of the edges. Luckily, we've got enough space here. That is enough. All right. Let's have a look and see what we've done here. Get the dust out. So as you can see, I hope. Nice deep hole. Let's grab our motor. And does it fit? That's real close. Uh, it might be a little too tight. I might. Uh, I might grab my, my bit and uh, just try to wiggle it around a bit more. I mean, it's it's real close. Real close. Although I did say I wanted a friction fit, right? So maybe it's going to be okay. i just give it some really good pushing down in there. So I didn't do a whole lot of planning on this particular part of the construction, which might also just be okay. I think this might be okay. I think I might be able to get it to really just ram down in there if I give it a little bit more time and effort. Maybe some twisting and whatnot. However, I hate to uh, think that I can get it and then not be able to get it. So I think I might give it just a little bit more of a, of a uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's definitely a little bit of uh, wood that's kind of getting scraped up by the end of my motor. And I'm going to need to be able to drill a hole in through the side here. So what we're going to do, just go ahead and uh, give it a little bit more of the drill bit. Try to uh, wiggle it around just a bit. Get the fit. We can always glue it if we have to with some hot glue. Or something else.
I got some uh, dust in there. So maybe we got just enough of what we wanted. I certainly uh, dirted up the edge of that, but again, that's not really a problem. It's going to be hidden anyway. And how's it fitting? Well, start a little bit better. Oh, wait. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I think it's maybe going to be fine now. Oh, but wait, now it's really stuck. It doesn't want to go much further. All right. So I got the top part better, but the bottom part still needs a bit of work. Oh, that's a nice friction fit, though. It's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Of course, I don't want it to uh, be able to spin around down in there and get the wires all twisted up and start pulling wires off. So, a nice tight friction fit or uh, some glue probably be necessary. Again, a bit more dust. It's a good sign. And uh, you gotta be careful. The top, this top part of this thing is a little bit sharp. Oh yeah, that's that's better. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. It uh, it fit rather nicely, and it really just kind of shrunk, shrunk, sunk down in there, there right at the end. So. Uh, Maybe we're going to be okay. I know I have to figure out how far down in we are. Get this out of here if I can't, without damaging it. I'm going to grab some pliers so I'm not hurting my hands. Pipe wrench I got on hand, that'll probably be okay. I don't really want to pull on the shaft if I can help it, but I might have to. Oh, there we go. Yeah, well, we might stick a little bit of glue on that. Seems just a little bit loose. Okay. Well, this video is already getting a little bit long. I might have to uh, fast forward through some of this or uh, just make it a long video today because I haven't gotten done nearly as much as I'd like to get done. All right, so let's just give a little quick measurement here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So we're looking at a depth somewhere around here. Uh, well, my pencil has no lead. Sharp my pencil here. There we go. So it's right about in here. Uh, is the bottom so just a, just above that we're gonna drill a little hole there and uh, all right let's do that first that's where our wires are gonna come out and then we're gonna need to below this have a little space where we're gonna put a little bit of a circuit board put our, um, our digit spark and then we'll have our line coming down where we'll have the, the power cord running and then go out through the the base and we'll route that as well. Excuse me. A little bit of Dr. Pepper earlier and a little bit of a burp going on. Alright, so another drill. Get the uh, super fancy uh, drill box out. Uh, slightly large hole is probably okay. Let's go for this. Or actually, I got something for the uh, for the old impact drivers. A little easier in and out. There we go. Okay, so now sideways, and we want to be just north of that. That seems all right. Okay. That's where our wires will go through. Not too bad. A little bit of tear out on the inside, but it's probably the best spot for it. 
Okay, and we need to then uh, route a line down. And yeah, that was just about perfect. That line was really right on the money. So, uh, let's see. Our best way of routing this is probably going to be with... Uh, socket today and tomorrow looks to be even colder that's how it goes it's just garbage at this point well I might reuse a little bit of that and if I have to make some little uh, brackets to clamp into my wood as I was describing earlier okay then let me figure out where some stuff is I'll uh Stop the video for now. Maybe take a quick break, find the things that I need, get some things set up, and then we'll get started again. All right, be right back.